today's video features include today's bonus features. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to episode 34 of the Supplemental Broadcast here on Alexandria Alternative Media Broadcasting and OK Copernicus Production. I'm your host, Jess, but you can also call me Epitome or Burn Kid because I'm Epitome the Burn Kid. Please be sure to follow the entire archival project, hashtag YouTube Recommended Chronicles, on X or Tumblr for the latest videos, music, memes, and more. Listen to the official soundtrack on SoundCloud. And if you're watching me on YouTube, please be sure to find me on Rumble should anything happen to this channel. All links discussed in today's episode uh, can be found below in the description box. And please be sure to subscribe, like, share, follow, and tell a friend, um, family about the many things we cover in our program and about the program itself. Uh, for deeper dives on the more spiritual esoteric side of the topics we cover, coupled with a hearty syllabus of phenomenal information in the form of YouTube videos, don't forget to check out my new series, Pan Panen Pious Prophetic Ponderings. And, uh, just a friendly programming note, if I itch or glitch or uh, sneeze or whatever, or, you know, have a brain zap, uh, pretty heavy solar activity currently. So uh, please pardon me for that. And now on to today's featured video recommendations. Okay, so first <laughs> on uh, today's uh, features, we have, uh, the, oh yeah, this video is titled uh, The Challenger Disaster, An Inside Look. Um, and it's from the uh, channel Delora O'Brien off the cuff. And uh, on uh, this uh, in this video, we're going to join uh, Delora as she does a deep dive into one of the biggest and most famous American tragedies. I was in kindergarten when this happened, and I used to want to be an astronaut. Like I used to like want to go join the Robotech Defense Force. I was a little kid. Leave me alone. <laughs> and then the Challenger blew up, and I was like, no, definitely don't want any parts of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the uh, explosion of the Challenger space shuttle. and But was it a tragedy at all? You know I wouldn't be featuring it on uh, this show if there wasn't funny business, right? Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, they're all alive. They're hiding in plain sight with absolutely no shame. For the receipts! <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got them including uh, some recon with photographic evidence. Be sure to watch the entire feature over on uh, Delora O'Brien uh, off the cuff. Our second feature today is titled One World Religion, Handoffs and Consolidations. And it is from the channel uh, Lorraine uh, Murray, Global Nuclear Cover-Up. In this uh uh, feature, uh, Loren Murray, uh, and she's, uh, uh, wow, a lot, a lot of, a lot of titles here, uh, MA, PhD, and an ABD, which I think is like some post postdoctoral stuff. Um, and she's going to be interviewed, uh, by, uh, Alfred, uh, Lambremont, uh, Weber, uh, independent, and she's an independent scientist, and she, uh, discusses, uh, Barack Obama's meeting with Castro in Cuba, and his uh, Argentina visits together with the uh, March uh, 22nd uh, Brussels uh, uh, false flag event uh, in the context of a uh, handover by the West and Obama to the Jesuit and transhumanist agenda and AI entrapment both in North and South America and globally and uh, well as a uh, part of a millennial uh, bloodline driven transition into a uh, i guess a new world order or some some uh, something of that nature in contrast to the jesuit driven uh west uh, vladimir putin is uh, pursuing a peaceful model of uh development through uh though wealth created by trading through bricks bank and the uh one belt uh 21st century uh, silk road economy the ruling elite have been uh carrying out secret nuclear war for the purpose of depopulation since world war ii under the guise 
of atmospheric testing for the national security. Nuclear power is uh, too cheap to meter and uh, depleted uranium kinetic energy bullets. And if you want to know why that was a word, Stu, that was uh, her description of what this is um, because I couldn't even sum it up into words. She goes over a lot, guys. Very important video to watch. So be sure to check that one out. And our uh, third video today features another curious story uh, featuring a vessel dubbed the Challenger. It's just Challenger day-to-day, uh, -day, isn't it, on the show? And is titled Antarctica, the Ice Wall, and True Distance Around It, which can be uh, found on the Flatwater uh, channel. So uh, this is uh, taken uh, from, I, I did snippets from their very, very long description box, just so that you have some idea of what they're trying to tell us is a continent, like a giant floating iceberg. Well, the people who went down there in the 1800s, I'm going to tell you what they, what they said. So here's what they said. The English Antarctic uh, expeditions from 1839 to 1843 were in search of the non-existent magnetic South Pole. The entirety of the Great Southern Barrier, or the Perpendicular Ice Barrier, was surveyed and mapped in detail. Along the coast, as far as the eye could reach eastward, there was a perpendicular cliff of ice from 150 to 200 feet high, perfectly level at the top and without any fissures or uh, pro-monitories uh, on its uh, seaward face. Nothing could be seen above it except the summits of a lofty range of mountains extending southward as far as 79 uh, degrees south. To this range, the name of uh, Perry was given. Captain Ross then sailed along the marvelous wall of, light, of, of ice uh, eastward in uh, 77 degree, uh, 47, I guess, knots or something south, as far as 78 degrees uh, south. This barrier was estimated to be a thousand feet thick and it was followed for um 450 miles without a break at all just it's it's just a giant a giant um gate i guess you would say the ice barriers which constitute the uh, earth's circumference extend for some 30,000 or uh, 32,000 miles but present no opening large enough for the passage of a seal or a walrus no alteration of long days as in the Arctic region, but the months of May, June, and July are enshrouded in one long dreary night. The snow never thaws, and the crash of the falling icebergs appalls the stoutest hearts. Therefore, unless any expeditions to these regions is conducted with peculiar caution and intelligence, it would very shortly end in discomfiture, and dismay to all concerned, end quote. So yeah, there's funny business about Antarctica. There's funny business about the Earth being a globe. There's funny business about a lot of things we were taught, and if we didn't just agree with them, we would be mistreated. So to find out more about some of the Antarctic funny business, please head over um, to the description box and check out that video. It's very good. And now I am most pleased to uh, bring you this most helpful update from Suspicious Observers with our fourth feature titled Magnetic Pole Shift. How much time do we have? Spoiler alert, we have time, but it is uh, most pertinent that everyone who wants to live happily ever after on the new earth start prepping, studying, training, and securing your resources post haste because a decade or two isn't a whole lot of time, in my humble opinion, to get ready for a cataclysm that will result in a pole shift, global deluge, and an ice age after all we have been put through up until now. Oh yeah, did I mention um, the micronova? There's a micronova too involved in this. Yeah, so life on Earth, right Earthlings? <laughs> so uh, today's uh, fifth feature, uh, is uh, comes in from Neil Oliver's uh, channel, and it is uh, titled uh, Money, 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 another f fabulous uh, edutaining uh, history featurette from Neil Oliver. And uh, here is, uh, here's, here's his little snippet. 
Uh, this is a new thing I'm doing. I'm giving you guys uh, snippets from from the makers of the uh, creations. I, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, freedom and liberation or power and control, or sorry, power, control, and the root of all evil. This week, Neil takes us around the world from North America to uh, Cappadocia and the Yap uh, Archipelago to explore the mechanisms of money in history and how they mirror the modern world. For this deep dive into the history of money and much more, be sure to head on over to his channel for a great historical and current, and also current events content. He does both. Yay. Oh, we got a good one to end, to end the show today. This is going to be good. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I love giving you guys beautiful, beautifully made documentaries about things they want everyone to forget about. <laughs> so to end our main body of recommended features today, I have an excellent video submission titled uh, The Mystery of the Dark Ages, Global Climate Disaster. And this comes in from the channel Timeline, World History Documentaries. Researching a climactic uh, catastrophe that rocked the earth in AD 535, causing two years, two complete years, of darkness, famine, drought, and disease. This is about to happen again, guys. So that's why I put this on here so you guys can learn about, you know, what's about to happen. Uh, written records from China, Italy, uh, Palestine, and many other countries suggest a huge catastrophe blighted the world in 535 AD. But the cause of it has been uncertain. Was it a comet, an asteroid, a volcano? Archaeologist David Keyes reveals the latter is uh, to blame for the dark ages of famine and plague that shape the world order of today. Videos like this help us all better evaluate and uh, analyze the schism amongst uh, preterists, since uh, also they are split on when the second coming of Christ actually had occurred. While many maintain uh, the belief that events took place around 70 AD, some believe that uh, the coming coincides with events that occurred around 535. So uh, it's interesting to go look at that. And um, there's a lot of overlaps. There's a lot of cycles. There, the, a lot of cycles are being overlapped from so many cultures right now. It's unreal. So that's a really good feature. Definitely enjoy that. And that ends our uh, main features, brings us to our bonus features. Not going to go really far into these, but they're really good. So definitely check them out. The first one comes in from Dr. John Campbell. Long-term sickness, massive increase. Sure, you and I both know what we're talking about here. Uh, transition. Uh, the next one is uh, from uh, Rudolf Steiner uh, Press Audio. I'm sorry, guys, my face is itching. Let me just itch this real quick. Okay, all better. Um, from uh, Rudolf Steiner uh, Press Audio, and this is titled uh, Transition from Luciferic to Aramonic Age. Let me be clear with y'all. Aramonic is worse than Luciferic. Um, just tell yourself Satanic is Aramanic. That, it'll help you better understand it. Uh, and the Christ event to come by uh, Rudolf Steiner. And this kind of uh, indicates that there is something being manufactured and they've been working on it since like the 1800s. So go check that out. <laughs> then we have uh, Professor um, Sam uh, Vaknin's uh, channel. And this is titled Psychopathic Narcissist Fantasy, Mr. Ripley in the Truman Show. He has a very good point here. You should hear him out. Uh, then we have another one from uh, Lorraine Murray, a uh, global, uh, global nuclear cover up. Uh, for some reason, it does not want to uh, give the full title to that, but the link is in the description box. And I mean, she's always a banger. She is good. She, uh, she, uh, she sacrificed her career to uh, get all the truth she learned in her career out to us. So definitely go check her out. The link is in the box. Um, Neophyte One uh, is the next channel I'm going to feature, and that is uh, they have a video titled uh, Rainbow Body of Tibet and the Resurrection of Jesus. Overlaps again. And the final one of the bonus features today is uh, Appalachia's Homestead with Patera. And this feature is uh, titled Enslavement for All. And uh, we all know that that's, uh, that's what these guys think they're itching us towards because if they create money and they inflate money, if they wait long enough, everyone's a slave. That's real life. And my favorite part of the show, 
So uh, it's time for my auspicious op-ed. I compose some words. I really hope it inspires y'all to uh, compose and share what's on your mind and and trying to, to the best of your ability, get the word out about things that, that, that you know, matter and, and take part in this whole process of building, building a new earth because we're going to need as many hands on deck as possible. So I'm going to say some words. Let's go. <laughs> it would appear that humanity as a whole has a mission that we have been more than adequately primed and prepped for during our adventures uh, through modernity, uh, con the contemporary era, and an unusually heinous attempt at a postmodern understanding of living to train us in the skills needed to surpass, defeat, and abandon the transhumanist lizard hive. Under construction, the elitist scumbags have tricked the survival conformists, that, that's my new word for them, aka normies or the mainstream reliant on the 3D matrix to structure their experience of existence, I am now dubbing a uh, survival conformist, into building themselves through nudging suggestions until they believe they have manufactured your consent to whatever um, agenda they're proposing. Whether you want to call them lizard people, globalists, the dark forces, or evil cabal, it goes without question that this is a techno-fetishist, anti-human death cult that prizes greed and idolatry over all other values. Throughout the aforementioned historical eras, starting around modernity, things circa 1750 to 1850, and accelerating through the contemporary era, starting around 1920 and into today, we have amassed quite the collection of sources and resources to understand the macro view of the illusion that it would appear the deep state is ordering governments, businesses, media, and education to prefer, push, shun, ban, or penalize. I am hoping that with the help of Magic 8-Ball uh, and myself, uh, that I am providing some good videos uh, to inspire you all to go on your own adventures of discovery, to share for the common good. It would appear that this group seeking to maintain domination and dominion over all requires smoke, mirrors, fall guys, psyops, ritual abuse, and black magic to get what they want. Anyone with a conscience and some scruples know the proof is in the pudding. Let's look at what they reap in their harvest. Is it good? Would you want that? Is it worth it? From what I have seen, promises of an eternal avatar <laughs> are relatively fruitless even uh for the atheistic technophile on an internet that is less free than mal's china or stalin's ussr on a cheaply made server we all know is not going to be well maintained or cared for based on their track record the funniest part about all of it is the delusion they are immersed in where they actually believe that we want their suggestions and input, that we are reliant on their expertise, what a joke, and that their systems are the only thing that ever contributed to uh, human progress. It's one of the few only things that ever destroyed human progress, weirdos. <laughs> wow, they have just always, are, are they just always on drugs? Or are they suffering from a psychotic disorder? Well, we could only guess what their toxicity screenings would reveal. I mean, look at these people. What I can tell you with full certainty is that this fantasy gets fueled solely from the manufactured consent and pleas for help brought forth through deception and trickery imposed on the preconditioned weakened and subdued masses you know those survival conformists your next question may be how do we get out of this how do we move forward great part about that is the only thing they have taken care of for us like they have granted us the privilege of watching their system implode during this attempt at a partially controlled demolition in hopes of a land grab and wealth transfer that will benefit us and not them. If we all play our cards right, 
and act with some sense about us, I can see many opportunities coming our way that would only result that would only occur as a result of this depopulation, world domination, social engineering agenda they have quite hastily embarked on. That means they're showing signs of we weariness, fatigue, and running out of resources or tricks that they can still pull. May we be ready and waiting to seize the opportunities these fools unknowingly bestow upon us. Start studying, proposing, preparing, and building the new world we wish to create today if you haven't already, because I'll tell you what, kids, our time is drawing near. And that brings us to the end of today's show. Today's musical selection comes in from yours truly, Epitome the Burn Kid, and it is Crystalline Jungle. If you like that liquid DMV, it's good, good. All right, and that is our show for today. If you made it this far, I'm starting to do a little indication. If you uh, follow me on X or on Tumblr, uh, or if you go down to the description box, you can find my email address, Alexandria, uh, well, spelled with a number at gmail.com and uh, if you want to send in a question or a feature or something to show you know um, you know a, a contribution a poem artwork uh, whatever yeah um, I am happy to uh, feature uh, things that my viewers think